Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Friday night. I hope you want to hang out with me for a little while before we move into movie night. I can't decide which holiday movie I want to watch tonight. I swear my family, um, we're, we're putting a few out there. Uh, Elf, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, My Husband Likes Home Alone, I Like Die Hard, which is, by the way, a Christmas movie. <laughs> There's a couple of other ones on the list. I can't decide which holiday movie uh, I want to watch tonight. We might just watch um, Big Bang Theory and choose like Christmassy ones. <laughs> do you ever do that? Do you ever just like watch uh, Christmas sitcoms? I think on YouTube even, um, or even uh, Amazon Prime, you can search for like Christmassy sitcoms. We like to do that too. So we haven't figured out what we're going to watch tonight. But I think we're going to maybe make some hot chocolate, have a snack. But this afternoon, I actually went down into the basement and started to kind of assess my candle collection. So many people have been asking me if I would do a candle collection video. And I keep putting it off because the problem with candles is they're heavy. They're hard to move around. And they're very difficult to organize, especially on camera. So I went downstairs and I was kind of cleaning up a little bit. And I'm actually going to show you, I took some videos downstairs of where I store my candles in the basement. So I'm going to show you a little bit of where I store my candles, a couple of my collection. And then um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the best way you can store your own candles um, whether or not it's worth collecting candles, the pros and cons of collecting candles. But I thought we'd just have a little chat tonight about all of this. So let's go to the video first. So I'm actually lucky enough to have a basement and our basement's very dry and clean. So I keep a lot of my candles, actually my entire collection on these metal racks in our basement. I've been trying to organize things a little bit better. As you can see, I've got Halloween candles there. I've got Yankee, I've got Wizard's Owl, I've got Village, I've got Goose Creek. Notice a couple of them have price tags on them. Um, occasionally I will try and uh, throw a couple in my garage sale if there's scents that I'm not crazy about or I want to cycle through. I also gift a lot of candles to relatives. Um, so if someone comes over and they need a candle, I'm like, come on down. <laughs> Smoke pumpkin cider. That's actually an Aldi candle. I've got some Bath and Body Works over here. Just a mishmash. Um, that's mint chip shake. But usually what I do is I do a lot of like comparisons. Banana cream pie. Um, oh, there's Boathouse Row. Um, so I'll bring candles upstairs. So I try to keep them by season. I have not done a great job this year. Um, there's some crinkles that I actually want to save. I've got some Charmed Aroma. Again, Yankee. Look at all the <laughs> all of the Bath and Body Works candles. I did get a couple duplicates this year. Um, there's an Easter candle there. Um, Waikiki Beach Coconut. Or is that, that's why I keep Keebeach Coconut. I can't read it too good. Um, but just different candles that I either liked the, the design on or I want to save. And like that Merry Cookie, I wanted to save a Merry Cookie from this year. So I kind of, when I first bring them downstairs, I will pile them over here on this rack. There's a Halloween one that's not in its place because I just brought that one upstairs. Until I actually organize all of my candles. I've got some scent works over there, and then I've got a couple of single wicks down there. And then I have another rack in another part of our basement here. Check it out. I've got some home decor items. I've got a lot of the Halloween pedestals up here. There's a Yankee Candle Black Magic. There's my, um, my pineapple globe, globes over there. Here's where I try to organize the bulk of my collection. So as you can see here, I've got, I counted these up. I bet you there's about 180 candles here, which probably isn't that many uh, for a candle collector. I have, look, chocolate, marshmallow, cloud. I have got um, a lemon one there. I don't even know what that one was. <laughs> but as you can see, 
the crate is my best friend. There's an older tree farm. Um, I believe that was Holiday. I have the entire Land of Sweets collection that I love. Um, but what I try to do is put them in... That's what I've been trying to do, actually. So right there, I have the entire spring collection. I'm trying to kind of put them in crates by season. And it got a little bit confusing to me because I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many candles and they're so difficult to maneuver. Peach sugar cone. Um, I think that's the ben tropical banana one. I've got all of the fall candles with the farmhouse labels that I wanted to keep um, down here. I've got I've got pure wonder actually. Um, I just wanted to keep that one in my collection. Some Christmas candles, cookies with Santa. I want to keep in my collection. But let me oh, there's a look. There's a Halloween candle that is not in the correct place. <laughs> so it is a very difficult process to organize candles. I've got a couple under here. Check these out. I just wanted to show you guys these. These were from 2019. They were the um, semi-annual sale. The cereal marshmallow bar. We have got unicorn sprinkles. What else is in here? Um, Strawberry pound cake. There was a fourth one. Uh, the blueberry sugar donut, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. These are not organized too well. I'm still working on my system. Saltwater taffy. What else do we have here? Um, oh, caramel apple. I love caramel apple. So I kind of like the bottom because I can just pull these out. Um, what else do I have? PB and J. Remember PB and J? Coconut Colada. PB&J was a Scooby-Doo mystery because everyone thought it smelled like cologne. Ice cream shop. Um, oh, my beloved strawberry pound cake. What else do we have in here? Like I said, these are not organized all that well. Um, that was, oh, I got to pull it out more. Uh, vanilla Cola Candy. I really like that one. That one smelled like Coca-Cola. Check it out. Hot Fudge Sunday. I haven't even burned it. I have a lot of unburned candles in my collection um, that I just want to keep. Uh, Thanksgiving, or Thanksgiving, uh, Vanilla Peach Tea. There is a Perfect Summer in there. Um, what is that? Very Waffle Cone. It was easy to, for me to pull that bottom row. Um, Ocean Driftwood. I don't think I burned that one. Nope. I haven't burned it. So, like I said, um, I'm trying to organize these. It's another strawberry pound cake. But it is not an easy task. If anyone has a lot of candles, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Frosted Forest. I'm trying to keep collections together, as you can see. Balsam and Firewood. Um, but it, it, it's, it's definitely difficult. And then on the side there, you can see I have a lot of my Halloween decorations. I have these racks all over. I'm going to pull out for a little bit um, more of a wide angle view here. You can see all of the candles on the rack. As you can see, um, I'm not as organized probably as people think <laughs> with candles. It is hard. I really wish I had, I could start from scratch and I could get beautiful like wood bookcases to go all around the basement and then I would love to you know what I would love to do my organizational mind would love to just organize each section and display them that would be like my perfect Bath and Body Works candle museum it's difficult though I mean my husband has a workshop downstairs he exercises downstairs we have other things going on in the basement storage so what I try and do is just you know keep my collection on these metal racks. I like the metal racks because they're sturdy and they hold a lot of um, weight. The, the wood bookcase is one of the problems with them. This is actually a nicer one I got at Target, but if you get the inexpensive ones, they will bow a little bit. So you got to be careful how many candles you put on a shelf. I don't like them on real tall shelves unless it's a sturdy bookcase because you have to make them bottom, bottom heavy. Otherwise, you know, I don't want anything to fall over. So um, candle collecting is definitely an interesting hobby because they're heavy wanted to grab a full crate here. So each candle is 14.5 ounces. Let's call it a pound. They're nearly a pound, really. I mean, they're an ounce and a half off. When you put six of them together, that's like just under six pounds. I can actually, <laughs> I can do this, you guys. I can carry three of these at a time downstairs 
and that is actually 18 pounds. You don't realize how heavy 18 pounds is until you're carrying it like this. So if you're thinking about collecting candles, you really have to figure out where you're going to store them. And then you got to figure out how big you want your collection to grow. And I do have my favorites that I like to keep. However, being a reviewer, we get a lot more candles than probably the average person. A lot of people might get like, I don't know, 10 blueberry pies. They burn through them. I burn a lot of candles. I would say daily I'm burning a candle in the morning and the afternoon. I love them. They create ambiance. They give me great um, pleasure in like, you know, all these scents throughout my house. I like to burn them outside in the summer. I do patio candles all the time. A lot of people say, why do you burn candles outside? Um, I do. I get a good aroma from them on my patio. I do that all the time. But your collection can kind of take over your home. So you have to decide, like, what is your candle limit? Do you want to cut the limit at like 100 candles? Downstairs, I kind of did a rough estimate. I would say I probably have like 300 candles in my collection, which sounds like a lot, but I know people that have like four and 500 candles in their collection that I've seen on, you know, social media. So I think my collection is relatively small and I honestly don't think I would like to go past that amount, which is why Every summer when I have my garage sale, I go through my collection. I decide which ones um, that I'm not super crazy about or maybe that um, I burned. I like them. I enjoyed them, but I'm ready to get rid of them. And I clearance them off for like, you know, three, five dollars and people, people buy them. They love them. So I tend to do that. Um, I also gift a lot of candles. I mean, if I've um, this one, oh my gosh, what is this? Oh. Blush Poinsettia. I haven't even reviewed this yet. <laughs> I'm going to review this one. Um, but there's a lot of candles that I give to my mother-in-law, um, my girlfriends. You know, every time they come over, I'll be like, hey, you want a candle? <laughs> so I, I tend to move them out of my house like that because I feel like if I'm not moving them out, I... I feel weird about bringing more in because I don't want to have too many. I do tend to collect the Halloween candles a little bit more and the Christmas candles, or if there's a collection that's just like really, really beautiful, um, like that Hot Fudge Sunday collection, I have that collection. Um, the ones with the holographic label on them, I have that whole collection, the Land of Sweets collection I want to keep. But, um, you know, just your average everyday candles, I, I try to move them out and um, give them to people. Or what I do is I bring them upstairs throughout the year and I burn them. The other day, I had the um, the banana bun cake because I know banana bun cake is coming back now for semi-annual sale. And I had the one in the yellow jar with like the plaid on it from last January. And um, I burned through my banana bun cake. <laughs> Boy, it was good. <laughs> it was really good. So what I will do is like, I will shop my own collection. If I feel like maybe a different season, I will go downstairs. I will grab a candle, bring it upstairs and um, burn it through. A lot of people ask me what I do with the jars. Occasionally, you know, I'll clean the jar out. I've got a couple in my room that I can, um, my other room I can show you. Um, I put like cotton balls in them. But usually once I'm done with a candle, I toss it. I just get rid of it because otherwise then I've got too much, I've got too much uh, stuff. I've got too many empty jars sitting around my house. So if you're going to start collecting candles, like I said, put a cap on, you know, how many candles? Is it 50? Is it 100? And then make sure you kind of stay at that number and cycle through. I highly recommend getting the crates. Oh my gosh. When you're at Bath and Body Works, always get a crate when you buy candles. Even if you buy like two candles, tell them you want a crate because then what you can do is, as you can see in my basement, you can store your candles in these crates. I don't like to particularly um, store candles. I know I had that one section. That's kind of my transitional area um, where they're just sitting on a shelf. But I don't like glass on glass because I got to tell you, I have broken more than one candle. That's the danger of having um, candles in the basement because the cement floor, if you drop a candle on a cement floor, it's going to break. <laughs> Trust me, it will break. Um, 
in the area that um, is that transitional area, we've got those rubber mats down. So if you drop a candle on a rubber mat, it might not break. I have I've actually saved candles that way. Um, so here's an example of a transitional candle for me. So I reviewed the um, strawberry sparkler. I did not like strawberry sparkler. This one is not going into my save it area. This one will probably go downstairs on that first shelf. And then um, when I see my mother-in-law, I usually give her about six candles at a time. I'll give her um, strawberry sparkler because I know she likes it. She gives them to her neighbors, her friends. So it all works out for me, uh, my husband's aunt, I give her candles, but I do try and move candles out. Now that I am a Kringle candle ambassador, I, I definitely have more Kringles. I actually decided because the Kringles are so beautiful, I am going to start a Kringle candle collection. So I'm reviewing them, I'm burning them, and I'm collecting them. I really love those Kringles. They're beautiful, especially the Kringle jars. So I just um, ordered another metal rack that I'm going to uh, start a Kringle candle rack for. I have a space already earmarked in the basement for that. And then I have my, um, I'm just starting to put, Goose Creek just started sending me candles in the fall to review, um, I'm reviewing them, I'm burning them, and then I have a small area downstairs. I don't have as many Goose Creeks as I do Bath & Body Works and now Kringle, but I try to keep each brand separated. I have a section for Yankee. Um, I do keep my Halloween candles pretty much in one area, all the brands together. And then I do store those water gloves. I am like thinking a little bit though about my water glove collection. So. I'm a little bit nervous, even myself, going into 2022 about how many water globes I want to purchase. So this year was the year that I bought like more water globes than any other year. I got the pineapple one. I got one, an Easter one. I got the um, the Halloween ones. I bought all the Halloween decor. I've never done that before where I bought all of the Halloween decor from Bath and Body Works. So I do have it nicely stored downstairs, but I'm going, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> and um, I actually limited myself this year um, with Bath and Body Works. I got the, um, the Christmas tree globe and I got the snowman globe, but I don't even think for some annual sale that I want to get any more water globes this year. I feel like I've got enough water globes. Um, of course, I got Charlie the Squirrel. I love Charlie. <laughs> But I'm a little bit worried going into 2022 because I'm like, I'm going to be very picky. I, I'm still going to review them. I'll get pictures of them. I'll, I'll talk about the water gloves. But I think you have to be a little bit careful unless you have a really large area to store water gloves because they are big. Um, oh, you can't see it back here. Behind my Kringles back here, I've got that giant snowman one uh, from last year from Bath & Body Works, which I absolutely love. Oh my gosh. But um, the water gloves are a little bit of a problem for me because they're pretty and they're sparkly and I want them. But I think I'm going to hold off in the spring unless I see what I really like. I say this now, you guys. Um, and then I'm going to see what rolls in for Halloween next year, because you know I'm going to want those. <laughs> but um, I got to be a little bit careful about uh, how many water gloves I acquire. My husband's going, you got a lot of water gloves down here. I'm like, I know. <laughs> so um, it's a challenge. I feel like I don't have as much of a challenge with the body care collecting. And we're going to get into use it up, body care, how it's a consumable, because the body care, A, doesn't really take up as much space. I know it looks like it, but I can fit like all of my mists on one bookshelf. The candles take up a lot of space, as do the water gloves. And then stuff like, um, you know, shower gel, body cream, lotion, I cycle through. It's a consumable for me. I use it, I gift it, I toss it, I use it to polish my furniture, but I cycle through my body care. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that going into January because I'm sure a lot of people are in the same boat now 
with um, what do we do with all of this Christmas stuff? And now we've got spring coming. So I thought I'd just kind of um, talk a little bit about my collection, explain why I haven't done just a full on candle collection review because it's very difficult. <laughs> but I hope this was interesting. And um, I'll keep doing videos like this to try and like show you like collecting, how to collect, you know, put a limit on stuff what's hard to collect, what's easy to collect. Oh my gosh, you guys, my um, my wallflower plugs are starting to get a little bit, um, I'm trying to get a little too many of those. I got to gift a couple of those off, but um, we're going to be talking about those in the new year too. So anyway, thank you for watching. This was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got to choose a movie now. Bye-bye.